Motor City Miner here coming at you live from the Motor City. Uh, today uh, we're, we're continuing on our disassembly here at the OG farm. I guess it's the second farm. The OG is my house, but truly a space just for mining. Um, so continuing with that disassembly, in my prior video I kind of talked about these uh, ASRock 510 Pro BTC Plus boards that I kind of I can get seven cards on with up to three PSUs. You can use either one, two, or three PSUs with it. Um, and divide up how those are powered. So we'll kind of talk about that once I disassemble this a little bit and can show you the board a little more closer. Um, but yeah, it's honestly an awesome board, especially for home miners that need to s distribute power across multiple circuits. Uh, highly recommend. Like I said, with my new place, I just don't really need these anymore. Kind of upgrading everything to server cases. Uh, so I'll be disassembling, packing up these GPUs to bring to the new place. I'm thinking I'll probably just sell it, honestly, with the CPU installed. Um, that way it's kind of plug and play for whoever buys it. Maybe I'll even, honestly, yeah, I think I'll just wipe the hard drive, put a new Hive OS, and uh, you'll just need a... Maybe I even saw the frame, man. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to think this through a little bit. I don't. Know, you, you know, put comments down below on if you'd be interested in like the whole rig being sold without a PSU. I don't. The PSUs have actually already been sold off separately. Um, but yeah, if you like, I said I think minimum it's gonna be hard drive with HiveOS new, newly reinstalled uh, the motherboard obviously and definitely the CPU you know leave thoughts below or if you'd be interested in the whole setup minus any PSUs and graphics cards obviously um, and yeah we'll go from there but um, so I'm gonna start uh, taking this apart here and then uh, and we'll talk about the motherboard once we can see it a little better all right so we got all the gpus out like i said the psus were already previously removed but now we can clearly see this asrock 510 pro btc plus motherboard in all its glory uh so you can see there's uh six built-in slots pcie x16 slots um super wide spacing it's actually i think a little beyond 65 millimeters maybe 67 or 65. Um, really wide though um, fits pretty much anything um, and then there is this one mining port here this guy here for a USB riser um, so I got the to get that seventh card on these rigs I kind of built like this little platform out of some acrylic uh, art acrylic sheet I had left um, bolted that down and, and you know put the PCI e riser here and there was room on my uh, frame for that seventh card way down here at the end um, so we got seven cards running I did try a few times to put like a USB splitter to see if I could get like you know more than just one uh, card but I never had luck uh, for some reason it just never picked up, up more than one on this USB mining port um, I don't know if, if you ever had better luck, you know, let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was only ever to, able to get one. Uh, so 7 Max, like I said, but super versatile board because uh, you got the PSU plug here uh, and then two over here. Uh, this one, I believe this one, yeah, this one right here is the one that powers uh, the CPU and these first two PCIe slots. Um, and then for these other four, these are actually not, um, these don't power anything. This one here and this here, these are solely to short circuit uh, the PSU so it turns on. Uh, these four slots here um, are actually powered by these Molex connectors that are built into the board. Um, so you can kind of distribute these four however you want. Essentially, um, it, you know, and they label them, so this is B, C, D, and E, and then PCIe slots are labeled E, D, C, and B um, as well. So essentially all you want to do is make sure whatever um, PSU is powering a PCIe slot, so in this case B, you want to make sure that same PSU is powering 
the B Molex connector to get power there. You never want, you know, to overlap PSUs. So that way, one slot and one Molex connector and one GPU are always on the same PSU. Very important. Don't don't ever try overlap. You'll short circuit something. But like I said, super versatile because you could say you could put one if you have a really power hungry card on one PSU all by itself, if you have a low powered PSU. You could put two PCIe on one PSU, you could put three, you could put four, or any crazy combination. Um, just maximum is three for this board. Um, so what I've typically done is, when I was running these, I either had two or three PSUs so I could split across more circuits. So I'd, Obviously these two slots would be on the main PSU that's powering the CPU, and I would often put uh, the PCIe riser on there as well, but you can, again, power this separately however you want. If you have a six pin power cable, um, again, don't ever use SATA. Um, don't really recommend Molex for like PCIe risers. Obviously this motherboard was designed for them, so completely safe, um, because these you'd also be plugging in, you know, into to your graphics card as well. Um, so it's getting power from multiple directions. But yeah, for these guys, definitely six pin recommendation. Um, but yeah, so I would normally have, if I was using two PSUs, I'd have this, the USB riser and then the first two slots on one PSU. And then I would put uh, these four slots, since they're um, not powering a CPU, um, so essentially, one PSU would have the CPU and three graphics cards, these two and that one, and then the other PSU would have these four slots, so powering four GPUs. Now, if I did have um, a really powerful card in these, which I did at one point, I did one of the, I have, again, I have four of these rigs. I had one where I had three PSUs running, um, and essentially I had, I had Obviously the CPU and these two have to be together. Um, so that was like one PSU. And then I had uh, two and three. Um, so uh, definitely can divide up that power. Again, just super versatile, awesome for the home miner. Um, I absolutely love these boards. They were also available during, um, at a reasonable price, about 200 bucks for pretty much most of the bull run, uh, which is why I have quite a few of them. Um, I know when they first came out, they, they did have some backlash. I bought them that first summer. They came out like May or June 2021. I bought mine in July. Um, when they first came out, and even when I got them, uh, I don't know how they come these days, but when they first came out, for some reason, only the first GPU would register. Um, but a BIOS update, which is available for, straight from ASRock's website, uh, rectified that issue, so all my rigs are running that BIOS now, the BIOS for the motherboard. I think it's 1.3, I don't quite remember, or 1.13, either way there's a 3 in it somewhere, uh, whereas, you know, from the factory these came with 1.0 or 1.1. Um, they might come with the proper BIOS now, but all that was required was, you know, throw that BIOS update onto a USB drive, plug it into key into the board and start it up and flash the BIOS and then all slots were working. So after that initial hiccup, you know, these boards are great, they run great, I love them. Uh, like I said, I think I'm just I'm just ready to sell them, uh, moving on to server cases. So I have four of these. Um, I'm going to continue taking the rest apart. I have like, I don't know, I think one more in that room one in that room and another in the room behind me that need to be taken apart. Um, and like I said, I think I'll sell them. I'll uh, wipe the hard drives uh, and reinstall HiveOS from scratch. Um, just so you don't have any of my you know, settings or anything in there, whatever. Um, so all you have to do is, you know, add uh, your rig config file. Um, I think I'll, and yeah, I'll include the CPU too, because I mean, it's not a great CPU. I just buy whatever was cheapest during the bull run just to get these operating. So they, I think these are like a Celeron G something. I don't remember the exact, uh, I don't think it even says on it. Nah, that's the cooler anyway, it wouldn't say it. But uh, just a cheap Celeron processor, but you know, you don't need anything more for this. 
unless you're playing on CPU mining, which I have never tried on this board. Um, I assume it'd be capable of it, but you know, do that at your own risk. And I would not recommend this CPU from <laughs> CPU mining. And you know why not? I'll include the RAM too. Pretty much everything except the PSUs. Again, that's the ASRock H510 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. This thing's awesome. It actually has a nice GUI too. Um, if you do hook up a monitor, I rarely, if ever, did unless I was doing any kind of maintenance or troubleshooting for, you know, my GPUs. Um, but like, it'll uh, have a splash screen that shows you all the different. Uh, cards that you have plugged in including the USB it'll like light up green um, but yeah it'll highlight which ones are working um, if there's nothing in it, it just stays black and if there's a fault of some type it'll turn red which is cool uh, um, but yeah so hopefully you found this v video helpful uh, and yeah if you're if you're interested like I said link down below um, also like share um, subscribe hopefully hopefully these can be a good home for someone like I said I love them use them for two years things are things are awesome and yeah all right until next time